Glad to have you aboard tonight. As we await the Super Bowl to help ourselves survive our first Sunday, Spencer, in nearly six months without a real football game, the Jazz were on the court in Minnesota today. Indeed. Oh, and the Jazz have been playing some real basketball. Eight wins in the last nine games type of real, including a four-point home win over the Minnesota Timberwolves on Friday. Tonight, same opponent, different city, Utah's second matchup with Minnesota in the last three days. It's a business trip, well, Rod. Of course it is. Let's see if they come away with a good business deal. Jazz, well, they got cooking early, going a 12-2 run in the first. Joe Ingles bust the three. He dropped in six straight points. And Derek Favors, Jazz led by three after one. Favors, 11 points, 11 rebounds. Second quarter, Ricky Rubio to George Niang. And the Jazz now lead by seven. Five minutes left in the half. Donovan Mitchell, he drains the long ball for an eight-point lead. But then Jared Bayless would hit back-to-back -back threes in the final 15 seconds of the Jazz. Well, the lead down to five, three at the half. Early in the third, Bayless again. Drops another three. That one ties it at 61. Jazz then score eight of the next 10. Ingles to Gobert. Jazz lead back up to six. Rudy finished with 17. Back come the T-Wolves. Luau Dang. Dang it. He hits the three. Now Minnesota's got a one-point lead. Back comes Donovan Mitchell. Fouled up and counted. Jazz back up five, heading to the fourth. Jazz start the fourth with a long ball. Kyle Korver. Somebody guard that guy. No. Ups the lead to eight. A couple of trips later, Korver again. They didn't listen. The lead up to nine. <laughs> Kyle three threes. He had 13 points. A minute later, Rubio will steal it away. And then Ricky, all by his lonesome, finishing it off. Rubio, 18 points, eight assists. Jazz lead is 11. But the Jazz had a 21-point lead in the fourth on Friday at home, and they nearly lost that. I remember. Well, Donovan trying to make sure that this thing's not that close. Drops in another three to keep the lead at 11. But then back comes Carl Anthony Towns. Three ball. The lead down to seven. Towns with 22. And Mitchell on the other end. Got the floater to drop. The lead back up to nine. Andrew Wiggins had a huge night. Comes right back, and the lead back down to seven. Wiggins, a game-high 35, but Mitchell says, all right, enough is enough, and he takes it inside and the hack. The lead to 10 with a minute and a half to play. Mitchell, 29-22 in the second half, and then Jay Crowder finishing off with a three. His fifth three of the night. Jazz hit 14 long balls. Jazz with seven players in double figures to win it by 14. All right, they've now won 11 of the last 13. They had a big third quarter. I think, you know, we made a couple adjustments to what they were doing to try to give them some different looks, which we were trying to do anyway. They just, Wiggins was doing a great job of attacking in particular. And I think two things happened. One, you know, we just did what we were doing with more force and more kind of competitiveness. And then there were a few things that our guys really um, were able to kind of adjust and adapt to that, that, that helped them.